Hey there, welcome to this inspiring story about Samantha Sibley, a 16-year-old girl from San Clemente, California, who is making waves in the world of surfing. When Samantha was just nine years old, her dad, Jeff, was deployed to Iraq, leaving her mom, Maureen, to look after Samantha and her brother. Samantha was a busy kid, participating in soccer and gymnastics, but her dad loved to surf, and that's what sparked her interest in the sport. Thanks to a grant from Our Military Kids, a charity that helps kids of deployed military families take part in extracurricular activities, Samantha was able to attend a surf camp and quickly fell in love with the sport. She started surfing every day and soon began competing. Samantha's hard work and self-motivating attitude paid off, and at just 11 years old, she won four trophies at the National Scholastic Surf ASSN, USA Explorer Championship held in Huntington Beach, California. Fast forward to today, and Samantha is now a skilled surfer, beating out some of the top young competition in the sport. She recently qualified for the junior final of the U.S. Open of Surfing, one of the most prestigious events in America that draws crowds of about 500,000 over the course of the week's events. Samantha's success hasn't come without hard work and patience, she and her mom spend almost every day at the beach, and Samantha practices surfing for hours on end, often by herself. But her hard work has paid off, and she has her sights set on the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, the first to feature the sport, as well as the World Surf League Women's Championship Tour. Despite her ambitions, Samantha remains grounded and loves surfing at home in San Clemente, where she can hang out with her friends and have fun. This inspiring story is a reminder that with hard work and determination, we can achieve our dreams, no matter our circumstances. So, what do you think about Samantha's story? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more inspiring stories. Thanks for watching.